Hey guys, this video contains an exercise on throughput accounting. First, look at what is throughput accounting. Basically, this is a method in which objective is to maximize throughput contribution, which is sales revenue minus materials cost, while minimizing the conversion costs such as inventory and operating costs. So let's get started. So we have this company that makes cell phone parts. One of its procedure is limited to operating four hours a day, in which 200 units per hour are processed in one hour capacity. The selling price per unit is $50. The unit material cost is $20. The conversion costs are 20,000, which are the daily total factory cost, and the expected production, which is units per day, is 1,200 units. So in this exercise, we need to calculate the total profit per day, return per factory hour, and the throughput accounting ratio. Let's calculate the total profit per day. The formula to calculate total profit per day is throughput contribution minus conversion cost. Earlier, we saw that throughput contribution is basically the revenue, sales revenue minus materials cost. So what we would do is take the sales revenue, of, which is selling price per unit of $50, and you minus that with the unit material cost. So you get $30 and you multiply it with the expected production, anticipated production of 200 units. You then that's what you get for throughput contribution and you minus with the conversion cost of 20,000 that we have in the, in the question to get a total profit per day of $16,000. Next, we need to calculate the return per factory hour, which is basically sales minus direct material cost. And you divide that by the usage of bottleneck resource in hours. So you would take 50, which is the selling price, sales, minus the direct material cost, which we have been given is 20. So 50 minus 20 is 30. And you divide that by the usage of bottleneck resource. So what is bottleneck resource? Basically, bottleneck resource is a machine that is working at full capacity and cannot take any additional demand. In this question, we have been told that one of its procedure is limited to operating four hours a day, in which 200 units per hour are processed in a one hour capacity. So we know that in one hour capacity, the machine produces 200 units. So that is the bottleneck. So one divided by 200 is one hour divided by 200 gives you 0 0.005. So what you would do is take 50 minus 20 is 30 divided by 0 0.005 to get a $6,000 of return per factory hour. Next, we need to calculate the throughput accounting ratio, which is basically return per factory hour that we just calculated. And you divide it by the total conversion cost per factory hour. So return per factory hour is basically $6,000 that we just calculated. And you divide by the total conversion cost. So we know from the example that the conversion cost is 20,000. So you take 20,000 divided by 4 hours. Because the total conversion cost must be per factory hour. And we know that the factory is operating 4 hours a day. So you would take 20,000 divided by 4. So overall, you get a total throughput accounting ratio of 1.20.